Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. <laughs> okay, so you can see we're here at the 80 Sports Car Cup, finishing off the second half of uh, this tournamento, and we need 394, which is what we got, and we are here, ready to rock and roll in our Subaru Legacy, baby. God, this car is nice. I love that purple, purple on it. Purple is such a rare car to see, or rare car. Purple is such a rare color to see on a vehicle. You almost never see a purple car, or even a car with purple on it in general. <laughs> Holy four-wheel drive. Whoa, whoa, easy. Is that MR2? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Oh, the brakes on this car are incredible, you guys. I broke so unbelievably late there, but we still somehow managed to save it. This thing stops on a dime. And leaves nine cents change, baby. Woo! Excuse me, sirs. Me and my sweet purple beauty, we will be coming through today. Oh, whoa, carrying too much speed on there. Good, decent recovery, though. I'm still, uh, I was still really off balance. I still am. There we go. Balance attained. <laughs>
Yes, I actually do know my most of my Formula One cars. Just by looking at them. I know what they are, what company makes them, like Mercedes Sauber, you know what I'm saying? Like I just I kinda know my shit when it comes down to it. <laughs> Especially for Formula One, man. I absolutely adore Formula One. Formula One and Rally, that's my two favorite things. Rally, I would say I like Rally a little bit more than Formula One. Like in real life, I'm talking. Just because it's... It's insane, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Those guys are nuts. Talked about this several times before. WRC, World Rally Championship. Yep. <clears throat> I'd love to ride in like a passenger seat one time of like a real rally car and like go flying through the forest. Just to see what it's like to actually go through the, like, go through crazy rally tracks at those speeds. Like, man. <laughs> that must be nuts. I mean, for a co pilot in WRC, it's not too bad because you're always looking down at your paper. You know, you've always got your clipboard in your hand and you're always driver information about the track, right? Whoa, holy no handling, what the hell? <clears throat> so I think it would be a very different experience um, to sit in the passenger seat simply as a passenger rather than a co-pilot. <laughs> that must be crazy, man. Holy, I'd be holding on for a new life. <laughs> that would be an awesome ride, though, a lot of fun. There. <laughs> you can hear me letting go of the gas just before going off of that uh, little little hill there because I knew we were going to go flying. This car is not exactly uh, <laughs> made for a little tiny track like to eat. Tahiti is actually a pretty cool track. I wonder why they never... Uh, why they never carried it on into any other Grand Turismo's. At least I don't think they did. No, I don't think they did. I don't remember playing this track in any other Grand Turismo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Race, you guys? 
I think that was the last race in the 80s cup. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so that's the end of the 80s sports car cup. All five complete. The next race is the Grand Touring Car Trophy, guys. Woo! Woo! Touring cars are so nice. So we got 394, 493, and 591. You know we're going to be using the Viper for that right there. Midfield Raceway, 591. <laughs> That's exactly what our Viper is, is actually built for. Midfield, 591. Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go take a look at what... Jesus! Look at that! Mugen, 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 Mugen! <laughs> Isn't this a Del Sol? Mugen Ferio. Oh, it's a Ferio Civic? What? It's a sedan. It's a 1998 sedan. Sick things. Mugen Ferio. I got you. We got the Mugen CRX 3. Pro 3, even though we actually already have one of those, do we not? Yeah, Mugen CRX3. Yeah, these are the same car. So we could go ahead and get rid of one of them. Alright, <laughs> moving on. So we got the Mugen Civic Type R. Sick, you guys. What? It's an EK Premium. So sick. Those cars own the street in Japan, yo. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, those Civics right there, EKs, those things ran the goddamn highways. They ran the show, buddy. Mmm, the Mugen Integra R. Mmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at those big bronze rims. Mmm. Gorgeous. And the Silhouette Skyline R30, the Tomica. This is definitely one of the best friggin' cars in this entire freaking game. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, man. This car actually stands up to, like, the Toyota GT1, Nissan R390, and shit like that. This car is insane. And it only has 555 horsepower. But, if you look down at the weight, that is exactly the reason why this car is amazing. <laughs> it's not called a silhouette formula for any joking reason, either. It, it's so upgraded, it is literally a Formula One car, but with the body of a Skyline. <laughs> this car is mental. The Tomica uh, R30 formula. Uh, this car is insane. So uh, That's actually one of my favorite cars in uh, Gran Turismo 2. Straight up, man. This car is amazing. But, yes, that is going to be the end of the episode here today. Let's go ahead and leave it on the game status screen for everyone to see. But yeah, man, thank you guys for coming out and watching this super quick episode of Gran Turismo 2, where we finished off the 80s sports car cup. You guys are the goddamn kings and queens of my world, you know that? And I wish you <laughs> the total best, and I hope you guys have a freaking awesome rest of your day. I'll see you guys all in the very next episode, the Grand Touring Car Championship, guys. We're getting into some serious shit now. But, uh, yeah, man. Have a good one, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>